This is a quick video to show you how to enter vendor invoices for LANA costs and match those invoices to the receipts to which they were charged. I've already entered a purchase order and I'm going to receive against that purchase order and then match the vendor's invoice to that. So let's, ent let's do that receipt right now. Here's the vendor from whom I'm buying the materials. Let's do an auto receive. Here's the PO right here. I'm going to receive five of those in. It's a serialized number, so I'm going to generate those serial numbers. And you can see that the Atlantic costs are automatically calculated down here. And the reason for that is that this item in this location has a Atlantic cost ID that has these three Atlantic costs associated with them. So what I'm going to do next is after I post this receipt, I'm going to enter an invoice for the insurance here, and I'm going to match it to this particular receipt. Let's do that right now, and I'll post this. All right, let's go ahead and enter the vendor's invoice. Here's the invoice number. This is the vendor for the insurance. Now the key thing is to check this Atlantic cost box right over here. If you don't do that, when you look up the item number, you're going to see your item master file. But if you do select it and then do the lookup, you'll see the landed cost items here. So I'm just going to select the landed cost item. The next thing is to match it with the shipment. So I'm going to hit this expansion arrow right next to the match to shipment field. Open that up and I'm going to see all my receipts down here. Here's the receipt that we just entered. I'm going to select that, match it hit OK, and now I'm done. Now if the dollar amount was more on the actual vendor's invoice, I can enter that as well. So say for example I had $125 for this insurance charge. I go back to the match and say actually it was $125 and it gives me the option to enter that as an inventory value or enter it as a variance. I'm just going to add it to the inventory value because I haven't sold that inventory yet. And I'm going to hit OK. This is telling me that there's a mismatch between the shipment and the vendor's invoice. You can see that icon there. But that's all you have to do. You can always go back and take a look at that match shipment. See those landed costs right here. When I'm done with the vendor's invoice, I'm going to post it, and that's it. So every time somebody asks me how to do this, I always have to check it out first because it's one of those things that I always forget. But now you can go back to this video and you can see how to do it. Mm -hmm.